Hey guys, it's Molly. Today on Frosted, I'm gonna be making a citrus mousse cake. It's six layers of bright citrus cake with a citrus mousse made from lemons and limes, covered in buttercream and adorned with beautiful decorations. Let me show you how. We're gonna start with our dry ingredients. I have some flour, baking soda, salt, and baking powder. Whisk this really well. We're gonna cream our butter and sugar in the mixing bowl. Make sure your butter is room temp. Add your sugar. And then let this go for a few minutes till it's light and fluffy. While I'm creaming my butter and sugar, I'm gonna crack my eggs. Next, I'm gonna zest my lemon here using a microplane. Make sure to keep your microplane right side up so you can hold all the zest until you're ready to use it. Okay, so this looks nice and light and fluffy. I'm gonna scrape it down. And then I'm gonna add my lemon zest. Let this incorporate itself and then one at a time, add your eggs. Or two at a time. Sometimes they like to be together. Okay, last one. Okay, so once you've got this going, you're gonna add some lemon juice, and don't worry, it's gonna curdle. Don't be scared. So we've got zest, we've got juice. This is really gonna give us a really strong lemon flavor in this cake. Now we're gonna alternate our dry ingredients and our buttermilk, just a little bit at a time. Then a little bit of buttermilk. I like to turn it off and add the flour because flour flies and I live my life on the edge wearing a black shirt while I bake. Get the rest of your flour in here and on low speed mix until it's just incorporated. These are eight inch cake pans that were buttered, parchment, butter floured to make sure there's no sticking. And we're just gonna divide this into both pans evenly. These are gonna be really tall cake layers because we're gonna cut each one into thirds. Just use your spatula to spread the batter out to the edges. Give it a little shake, a little tap. And these go right into the oven until they're golden brown and a cake tester comes out clean. Okay, so now we're gonna make our citrus curd, the first part of making our citrus mousse filling. I'm gonna start by sprinkling some gelatin over some cold water. And in the meantime, get the rest of our ingredients ready. We're using limes here, juice, and zest. This goes right into our pot along with our sugar some salt, some lemon juice, and then we're gonna cut these limes and go ahead and juice them right into this pot with one of my favorite kitchen tools, the citrus press. And then we're going to add our egg yolks and some butter. We're looking for this to not boil, but just thicken. So we're gonna stir it constantly, keeping a watchful eye. Okay, so we have been watching this carefully. I've switched to a spatula so I can show you how to tell when a curd is ready. And that's when you draw a line through and it doesn't fall. That means that it's thick enough that it's ready. So I'm gonna lower the heat here and I'm gonna add our gelatin, which is nice and bloomed. So it's just one massive lump. And we're just gonna mix this until it dissolves. Okay, this smells so good and it's nice and thick. Strain this through a fine mesh sieve because you wanna get rid of the zest and any little bits of egg that might have curdled. Look how beautiful it looks. Once you've pressed all of your liquid out, you wanna cover this with plastic wrap 
press the plastic wrap right up against the surface of the curtain so it doesn't form a skin. Great, now let's get this in the fridge, let it chill and set for an hour. Okay, so now we're gonna finish up our mousse. We have our chilled curd here. You can see it's really, really, really set. It's super set. So anyway, leave that to the side. We're gonna beat some egg whites. When your egg whites get foamy, you can start to slowly sprinkle in your sugar to incorporate it. Okay, so we've got some nice stiff peaks here. That's exactly what we want. Now it's time to put this mousse together. Start with a rubber spatula and you just wanna break up and loosen this curd a little bit. Just take a little bit of your cream, and I call that the sacrifice because you're not looking to fold this in quite yet. You're just trying to loosen up the texture. Okay, so now this is the perfect consistency to start folding everything in to keep it light and airy. Folding is different than mixing because you're trying to keep all this air in here. So you just pull from the bottom over the top to keep it nice and light. So this looks great. This has a few streaks in it, which is fine because we're gonna keep folding in. Now we're gonna go with our egg whites and just keep folding till it's nice and incorporated. You don't wanna overwork this, so as soon as you don't see any streaks, you're good to go. Wrap this, get this in the fridge, and let this set for a few hours. So we have our beautiful cake layers here and now we're gonna trim them into thirds. And I'm gonna start by just trimming the top part of this off so that we have a nice flat edge to work with. So now you're gonna take your ruler and this is an inch and a half. So each layer is gonna be a half an inch. And with my knife, I'm just gonna mark the half inch marks. And I'm gonna do that around the cake Afterwards, you can take your knife and just lightly score, connecting all of the little markings that you made. And do that with both layers. Okay, so now you've scored both of your layers, you're gonna go back to your bottom one and keeping your knife really flat, you're just going to slice through while you rotate your cake stand. The same thing with the top layer. Great. One, two, three. I'm gonna do the same with my other cake layer. So because this cake is so tall and the mousse needs to set, we're gonna build it directly into a cake pan. Line an eight inch cake pan with two parchment strips with a nice overhang so it can help lift it out when we're done. We're gonna start with one of our bottom layers and we're gonna put it right down into the pan. And you can see our mousse is gorgeous. It's light and fluffy and so citrusy. And we're gonna fill each layer with a cup. Make sure to go all the way to the edges here because we're gonna cover all of this with buttercream. So you just wanna make sure the whole surface area is covered. Add your next layer, press it down a little bit and continue with the remaining layers and filling. one upside down so that we have a nice flat edge just press it slightly to set it and this gets chilled in the fridge until it's completely set at least four hours okay now we're gonna make our Italian meringue buttercream so we're gonna start with our egg whites in the mixing bowl and get these to stiff but not dry peaks and while that's going we're heating our sugar syrup so I've got some sugar and water in here and we're looking for 238 degrees that softball stage okay we are right at 238 degrees and while your mixer is running you're gonna pour your sugar syrup very slowly down the side of the bowl so that you don't splash it anywhere if you pour this too quickly, you're going to scramble your egg whites. So now you're 
have this wet until the bowl is cool and the meringue is room temperature. Okay, so I just want to show you that this is a really nice, fluffy, beautiful meringue. And now, as this mixer goes, we're going to add our butter to make a buttercream. Make sure to let each piece of butter incorporate before you add the next one. This is room temperature butter. If it's cold, then it'll harden and it'll be lumpy, which we don't want. As soon as all your butter's in there, add your vanilla extract. All right, and now you have this beautiful, thick, gorgeous meringue buttercream that we are going to frost our cake with. We have our beautiful cake that we have inverted right onto our cake stand. First, we're gonna crumb coat this, which just means covering it in a thin layer just to keep all the cake and filling inside. Usually after your crumb coat, you would pop this in the fridge to let it set, but because this cake just came out of the fridge, it's already quite cold, so we're just gonna go ahead and frost the whole thing now. Just use up all this buttercream, slather it onto the sides and the top of your cake, and then we'll even it out after. I know what you're thinking, it's a mess, but we're gonna fix it. Using your bench scraper, you're gonna line it perpendicularly and keep it at a right angle, and then slowly with your other hand, turn your board, scraping off all the excess buttercream. And then to smooth out the top, just take your offset spatula and pull the edges from the outside back to the center, scraping off every time. Stop yourself before you go crazy. This is beautiful, it's cake, and it needs to go into the fridge for a few minutes before we transfer it to our cake stand and finally decorate it. Finishing touches. We have this beautiful blank canvas here and you can choose any kind of decorations you like, but I went with a peach pink yellow kind of palette. I made these meringue kisses, which are super simple to do. Make meringue, color it, and just pipe it and you get these really sweet little babies. Feel free to express yourself here through your cake. I am gonna maybe start with a few kisses, and I'm not gonna think too hard about where I'm putting them. And then I'll start with some of these pearls. Get some of this bright yellow in here. I'm a California girl, and I love a good sunset, so anytime I can use sunset colors in a cake, I do. And to brighten it up, maybe a little bit of this pink sanding sugar. You can go wild here. I am I'm restraining myself. I'm just going to finish this up with maybe some edible flowers, if they're available to you. I don't think anything is prettier than edible flowers. Any chance I get, I will put it on a dessert. So if they're available to you, I highly recommend them. They give just like a really nice earthiness and natural beauty to any kind of dessert. I'm adding my last flower petal and I decided that I'd like some more sprinkles on here. So I'm just gonna fill the rest of this cake up. Wouldn't be fair if someone got a slice without sprinkles. And one final kiss. And there you have it, this beautiful citrus mousse cake bursting with citrus flavor. As beautiful as this cake is on the outside, the inside is just as impressive.